Hey guys, this is Ivan with Overlook ENT, and in today's video, we're working on T flip flops. Bam! All right, so this is uh, T flip flop 101. It was requested by uh, Players Play 247 PC, subscriber of mine. <clears throat> and so basically, what I picked out was uh, to show you guys uh, 10 different uh, T flip flops, um, and I lay uh, now claim, and I mean this, to the world's smallest T flip flop. Bam! All right, so let's start off. I built this one first because it's the one that I showed on the um, on the flush nether portal thing, and uh, you know, simple, small, small enough. Hit the button, you know, works. So if you don't know, basically T flip flops, what they do is they make a button act like a lever, uh, pretty much a button in itself. <clears throat> you know, we'll send a signal that goes on and off a lever, and people for some reason hate levers, and I don't know why. Let me tell you, I'm not one to uh, complicate a build by, uh, no, no I'm not, by uh, adding a whole other mechanism to just compensate for the fact that there's a lever there. You know what, I'm fine with levers, but if you do hate them, so be it. Uh, this is one of them, you know, see, button now acting like a lever. <clears throat> this one here was built by Feeks, and I will show you guys how to build this one. So this is going to be like a um, showcase slash tutorial, because I'm not building all of these. Uh, but you know this one's awesome is Feex made one you know goes up goes down alright so um, let's build this one real quick I, I mean I love this one because Feex made it and because it's like you know one wide uh, which one wide is always awesome any way you look at it so also uh, as I'm going through these um, the blue block represents where the button could be by itself the reason why I have uh, you know the repeaters going into it is because you know if you want to make it flush all of these have the option to be just flush with a wall but if you don't care then just put the button right there okay um, but yeah so that's that's what the blue block represents so you guys know alright so let's build Feeks's design here alright we're gonna go uh, and put a block here for the button itself I'm gonna put a repeater here and where the button would normally be then we're going to put a repeater here, and then we're going to put a block down, and some red uh, redstone torches here, <coughs> here, a uh, block here, and then two blocks here. I know one of them is on three, so this one should be on three. Three ticks on that one. All right, from here on, we're going to build up just to be able to put a sticky piston down, like so, and then one right off that torch like that. Alright, perfect. Right here is going to be where our block is, but right underneath that we're going to need a torch. So let's throw a torch in here. This is our output. Now, uh, also, if I have the output with a uh, repeater on it, that means it's needed. Otherwise, it'll just act like a monostable circuit, and it'll either freak out, like go up and down, or it'll release the block, which we don't want that. So right there, that one needs a... Um, actually, wait, no, his does not need one. Um, does not need a repeater it'll just work by itself so we hit the button goes down the button goes up <clears throat> perfect alright so that's Feeks's he's awesome check him out I'll put an annotation on the video hopefully it's been kind of weird with annotations uh, this is the one that I've been using the most I just like it because it's you know super simple to remember it's fast and uh, normally doesn't freak out Huh. I don't know why the redstone's being retarded, but that does not normally happen. Why are you still lit, you piece of crap? Alright. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, I mean, you've seen me use it many times, and it's been fine. So it goes up. It goes down. Let me show you guys how to build this one, just because I use it a lot. And, um... Again, uh, same thing with this one. The This block represents where the button could be by itself. Alright, right here we're going to put uh, redstone dust here. Redstone torch here. Sticky piston right there. Uh, another sticky piston right there. This is where the power torch would be. And a block here. And a block here. This is our output. This one definitely needs a repeater to be involved. Otherwise, it'll just um, unlatch the block, and it'll just get suspended. Goes up, goes down. Perfect. 
Alright, so this one here, um, you know, it's completely dumb, honestly. Um, but it, I mean, I was trying to showcase different ones, I guess. This one is in the event that you want a one time T flip flop. Pretty much. I mean, it could be a lever. Again, you guys hate levers. But you hit it, and it's up. All it's doing is the boat is now, um, you know, pressing down on the pressure plate. So yeah, one time T flip flop does not need much. All it is is just a piston on the power block, uh, holding up the, um, I mean, holding up the boat that's holding down the pressure plate, and that's it. All right, this one is a pistonless uh, T flip flop. I don't really want to build this one. It's kind of like a pain, kind of a pain to build. So I'll I'll do like a small run through of it. Okay. So there's the power block torch here. Repeater, redstone dust right there, block to break those, redstone dust there, and uh, something that looks like kind of like an end gate here, and uh, this definitely has to be on four ticks. All right, I hope you guys get a good view of it because I'm not building this thing. All right, but same concept goes up, goes down. It normally doesn't do that whole up down thing. Hmm. Apparently it wants to this time. Alright, you know what? Forget that one. It's pistonless. I wanted to just show it. Whatever. Alright, this is another one. It's pretty fast. Uh, I mean that's the reason why I ended up, you know, just showcasing it. It's pretty simple to build. I will just do another little run through on this one. This one does have to be on three ticks on that repeater. And uh there's a torch right down there. There's the torch right here, and this is your output. All right, forget that one. It's all right. This is the one that everybody seems to love, though. Um, it's slow, though. That's why I never liked it. Whenever I found the other one that I use a lot is when I like that one. This one's slow. I'll show you guys how to build this one because you know it's a classic. It's a classic, so we'll build it. All right, so we're gonna just put a uh, torch on the ground. One uh, sticky piston there, one sticky piston here. I don't even think they have to be sticky, pi uh, sticky pistons, but you know what? I'll make them sticky pistons because it's my video. All right, this is, in theory, your power block right here. You're going to put a redstone torch here, redstone torch here, uh, redstone dust here, and uh, your output is right here. This one does not need a uh, repeater. It'll just work by itself. We'll stamp a button right here goes up it goes down and you know if you want to do the whole thing to just make it flush or just one wide at the output same thing stamp a repeater on here you know put a button down and you're good to go awesome this one I love this one this is a one wide one but it is super super fast um, let me show you guys bam bam so it works like on a monostable circuit. This block is being released and then it latches back on. Um, pretty much that's all that's going on there. So let me show you guys how to build this one. You go two up. This is where your button goes. You put redstone dust here. You're going to put a um, torch there. Just to make my life a little bit easier, we're going to build up to actually just stamp the sticky piston down. Oops, like that. Down. And then we're going to put one block here sticky piston here and a block here and where it is uh, actually extended goes oops well, I have a hole there all right goes the torch your output goes in all directions um, this one does definitely need a um, repeater otherwise it'll be too fast let me show you guys real quick up down so you don't need that one. Your output comes off of the torch. But yeah, this is super fast, super awesome, super small, and one wide. Um, definitely love this one. All right, so this brings me to number nine, which this kit here deserves a freaking honorable mention. Sci-Fi HD. I took his, uh, his concept and made uh, what I now claim is the world's smallest T flip flop. So he had his like you know a block here and then the button there. Uh, I guess on the PC, this block up here is not necessarily needed, though we need it, um, because otherwise the boat will just uh, stay above the dispenser. But let me show you guys. T flip flop. Up. Down. 
all it is is water is being released the boat is um, you know now above the pressure plate when the water um, is now sucked back in the boat falls freely on a wooden pressure plate very important wooden pressure plate all right now this leads me to what I now claim is the world's smallest T flip-flop uh, it is however wide this is um, by one and a half tall all you have to do is same concept as that one uh, you know boat is there but the trick is something that I learned from Coda 6911 uh, um, you know how to put a button on a um, on dispenser so there it is off on this is it this is like uh, my modified design of that one and yeah I mean officially I'll say it world's smallest T flip flop BAM alright so let me show you guys um, you know how to build this one because well you know it's awesome and now I claim that I modified it so that's mine alright we need a dispenser there we go alright we're gonna put a dispenser down like so we are gonna put um we need fences it doesn't have to be a fence so this is legitimately like one wide um, because you know if, if these are walls that works just the same uh, we're gonna need a wooden pressure plate damn you rain damn you raining on my parade that's probably a sign that I shouldn't claim that this is like you know that I made the world's smallest one but whatever don't tell me how to live my life alright so now you put a um, water bucket in here <coughs> like so and now we're gonna put a um, what is it a half slab yeah that's what those are called oops over here all right perfect like right there break these apart now the trick in this let me get some light in here the trick in putting a button on a uh, dispenser is very simple um, Code apparently likes to let his um, actually, um, you know, grow. I don't have time for all that. So what you would do is you would put two blocks down. You grab some vines, like so. Stamp them down. And I probably should have done the dispenser last, I guess. Whatever. It's too late to turn back now. All right, so it's it's in place there. Just break the block. Place the dispenser grab a button and because the uh, vines are there now you can place a button on the actual thing itself it can be a lever but you know, again we're doing T flip top so it's a button perfect now uh, again should probably not have done that because I need the space to put the half slab down alright the half slab is just so that the boat doesn't go crazy and actually uh, float above that but yeah now we need a boat we need a boat, we put it right there. We have water in here. No, we don't. Put some water down. And there we go. World's smallest T flip flop. Bam. Wait, I'm flying. Bam. Awesome, guys. Well, um, you know, again, um, like the video if you like it as always. Um, subscribe up top. And. Um, yeah, I mean, leave the comments if you feel that my way of modifying the kids is cheating. Whatever, forget you. So subscribe up top and peace out.